John chapter 14. John 14, verse 6. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. But by him. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the light. No one, absolutely nobody, comes to God without passing through our Lord Je Dr. Jesus. Have that scripture in one side. Go to another scripture. John chapter 8, verse 22. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Jesus is the only way, the truth, and the light. And life and goodness and resurrection. And ye shall know the truth. It is the truth that you know that shall make you free. If you don't know the truth, you can't be set free. Hello? It is only when you know the truth. It is that truth you know that will set you free. Today's deliverance is titled Doing the Right Thing. Doing the Right Thing. Truth is the right thing. When you say the truth, you stand on the truth, you are doing the right thing. The truth is very stubborn. The truth is of no value to the person that does not know it. It's of no value. Because it is that truth you know that will set you free. But if you don't know it, it's of no value to you. But when you know it, that truth becomes valuable to you. Wrong will always be wrong, even if everybody does it. I repeat, right will always be right, even if nobody does it. Wrong will always be wrong, even if nobody, even if everybody does it, even though everybody is doing it, it's wrong. It will be wrong. God has given us certain laws in the Bible. You may not like those, you may not like those laws, but God has no respect for your opinion. You have to obey his laws. You may not be comfortable with it, but you have to obey it. Shout hallelujah. Some deliverance will only come by information. While some will be set free by what they know. Some will be destroyed by information they don't know. The Bible says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. And the Bible also says, ye shall know the truth. It is the truth that you know that will set you free. So, always stand on the right thing. No matter the pressure. No matter what the enemy is throwing at you. Stand on the right thing. Don't be, don't, don't be uh, 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 um, intimidated by the devices of the enemy. Stand on the truth. As long as you're doing the right thing, as long as your focus is heaven, continue. The Bible says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Then and then, other things shall be added. Let your focus be, oh, what this thing I'm doing now, will it lead me to heaven? This decision I'm making now, will it lead me to heaven? If 
that decision will not lead it to heaven. My brother, my sister, make a 24 degree, is it 24 degree U-turn? 36 degree U-turn. Eh? 360 degree U-turn. 360 degree U-turn. If that thing, oh, this thing I'm doing, this cheating, I'm cheating on my wife. If rapture happens now, will I make heaven? If you know that when you cheat on your wife, that rapture happened that minute. See, let me tell you. God will not give you information when rapture will happen. If you are thinking, uh, okay, um, God will announce on television. Ba, 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 ba. Yes. Fellow Nigerian. Okay, no, no, fellow Nigerian. Everybody in the world listen. Special announcement from heaven. By tomorrow, rapture will be taking place. Everybody will prepare. Everybody repent. Even Abacha will repent. So, God will not announce. We can be in the church now. It will happen. Boom! Like a ticket of an eye. Zim. 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 You can be traveling. In fact, those who enter plane, you have to pray very well. Whenever you enter a plane. Because if you enter plane, the pilot happens to be born again. To your tent, oh Israel. So be when we are, when I was a scout, there's our motto is be prepared. Always be prepared. Always prepare yourself. Because you don't even know when rapture will happen. It will just happen with that information. Zoom, zoom, zoom. And you know the funny thing? You say, okay, uh, when rapture happens, after rapture, after rapture, um, I will repent. It might be in a good. You never, now you are complaining of Fulani's headsman. That time, the elder brother of Fulani headsman will come. Text 666 mark. That time, without the mark, you can't even buy bread. You can't drink tea. If you take the mark, you go to hell fire. If you don't take the mark, you, you make heaven. But you can't eat, you can't go on the road. You can't do anything. What kind of life is that? Full and his men, elder brother. Now they go come. Because Satan will be let loose. Now, Satan is not let loose. So, so people are still doing things. That one, that time, Satan will be let loose. He will come out. He will do havoc. So, why do you want to wait till that time? Of great tribulation. Why not repent now? So that you be prepared. So that in case anything happens now, you know you are making heaven. You know you are making heaven. You are oversure. You are not afraid of death. You are not afraid of anything. You are not afraid. Let me tell you. Once you are, you have a good understanding with God, meaning that if you are born again, nobody can frighten you. Nobody. If somebody says, go kill you, you fikir me, you know if you me, I will chop you. Because you know that you have an understanding with God. Because the Bible says, he that dwells in the secret place of the Almighty shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. He that dwells in the secret place of, the, of God shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. You are under the shadow of God. His shadow is covering you. And no harm shall come upon you. Nobody can touch a hair in your body. They can't do you anything. Witches and wizards cannot suck your blood. If witch appear to suck your blood, na poison that they drink.
people are talking about beautiful houses. Uh, beautiful. There is no house in the whole world that can be compared to the one in heaven. Now there I go see mansion. Now what I mean? Ulo. A house made with gold and diamond. You don't need electricity because diamond and electricity. Night, there is no night. Every day is daytime. You don't need the refrigerator because all the whole food will be fresh. Nobody will say, I have a headache. I'm sick. I'm this. So, why do you want to what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world? You are acquiring, collecting money. Oh, thus says the Lord, empty your bank account. Thus says the Lord, bring all your money. Bring all your money. Then you end your life in hellfire. Rubbish. Vanity upon vanity. So the best way, stand on the truth. Stand on the light of God. Stand on making heaven. Let heaven be your thoughts. Every time you stay like this. I, for me and my house, we must make heaven. For me and my house, we must make heaven. Let your concentration be on heaven, 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 heaven. Stand on the truth. No matter who is fighting you. No matter who is attacking you. No matter the persecution you are facing. No matter the temptation you are facing. Stand on the truth. Let me tell you. It might look like God is not seeing you. <laughs> Imagine again. He's watching. He's watching. And he knows the limits you can go. When you are pushed to the wall of difficulty, Keep trusting him because two things will happen. It's either he will catch you when you want to fall or he will teach you how to fly. When situation, anxiety, depression, attack have pushed you, pushed you, pushed you, you are just at the edge. See this thing, this pole. You are just at the edge. And the next step is on the ground. Keep trusting him. Keep trusting him. If they put gun on your neck, keep trusting him. They put the neck, say, oh yeah, cut me. You are trying to help yourself, cut me. I can never. You see, there is this young Hebrews. I love their faith. They told them to bow before idol. They said, no. If God does not deliver us, then glory be to God. But we can never bow. Let it be your word. Say, look. If God decides that which is not possible. Which is not possible. If God decides that I will remain poor, so be it. But God will never do that. Because everybody has a destiny. So if God decides, so be it. But I will never stain my hands and go and steal. Go and rob, carry gun, and force somebody and collect another person's pain. You are watching me on television. That operation, you want to go. Don't go. God can still give you a second chance. He loves you. Upon all the whole stealing you've been stealing, robbing people, kidnapping, how far? What have you achieved? Vanity upon vanity. Even though you say you have built house, what house? House that very soon government will demolish. Yes, if you don't repent now, government will demolish that house because the next operation is either you die or you are caught. And when you are caught, government will demolish your house. 
So it is better you repent. God loves you. You're a sister, you're listening to me. And you feel that you'll be destroying the temple of God. Don't you know your body is the temple of the Almighty? You don't know the next person you will sleep with may be carrying HIV. Full blown AIDS. Anonyegia Elala. Why not surrender your life to Christ? The Bible says, even to your sin be as scarlet. It doesn't matter the kind of sins you've committed. It doesn't matter how bad your sins are. There is no sin God cannot forgive. Come to him before it's too late. You want to give your life to Christ. You want to be born again. Wherever you are, stand up. Jesus, there's no one like you. OPM. Dr. Jesus in action. OPM. Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. My name is Obed Emmanuel. I'm here to testify to the glory of the Lord Almighty. Last, last Dr. Jesus night with Dr. Jesus uh, night with coconut, a prophecy came that it prophesied that there is somebody here. They afflicted you with the arrow of polluting. Oh! There is somebody here that fired the arrow of polluting. Eh? So, before this time, in a place we are managing, I always pollute. When I'm on the way as well, I pollute. Even in the house. In fact, the one that bubbles me most is when I'm praying, I always pollute. I say, no, this is not normal. This is abnormal. Yes. When you're praying, yes, sir. Robo Seka Masodobo. <laughs> hey! Thank you, man. Angel go run. Angel go run. Angel go run. Holy Spirit go run. So, in, in your office where you work, you'll be polluting. I'll be polluting as well. Oh! In fact, eh, the devil is a useless man. So, let's see the prophecy. Oh, there is somebody here. They fire you out of disgrace. You always pollute. You always pollute. Po, 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 po. But as you took the blood of just that arrow of disgrace has disappeared forever. So after the prophecy, what happened? After the prophecy, as soon as the blood of Jesus was taken, was administered into my body, right from that very day to this very moment, I never experienced it like that again. Give Jesus a wonderful Secondly, <laughs> before, before discovering this great commission, I always have this seasonal sickness. Every three months, I must cough and as well have catar. In fact, it's a seasonal sickness that always comes. In fact, whenever this sickness is coming, I get ready for it. And it torments me so much. But ever since I located OPM, this seasonal sickness is gone and gone forever. Give Jesus a wonderful clap of Jesus. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. Indeed, God is here. I located OPM. My name is Joy. Or for this, my husband and my two daughters. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is my daughter. God gave her to me spotless. But enemy afflicted her with skin disease. Jay. Right from when she was small. Along the line, why you apply, when, when the thing comes and go, it comes and go. Before you know it, it started developing deaf ear. You will shout, shout, shout before she will hear your name. We went for hearing this and they checked her ears. They said nothing is wrong with her. I started believing God. Along the line, big growth started coming out from beside her ear. Very big. Some people said she go for oppression. I said no. Many people that undergo such operation, they don't survive it. And some, if they operate it, it will cover their face. Somebody directed me to Mbise, Imo State, where I was taking that herbal medicine, so the thing will melt out. 
Every two, two weeks, we'll go to MBC, we'll spend money for the drugs. And nothing is happening. I was still believing God. One day, I owned my television. Hey. I saw OPM. I said, no, I will go to this place. I must go to this place and know what is happening. I made up my mind to go, but I was discouraged by some neighbors. Don't go. You know, PM is this, is that, is occultic. I say, even if it's occultic, I will come here and let my daughter be saved. The first, day, the first day I crossed the gate, I spoke to God. I said, God, if actually you are working here, please restore my daughter. Before then, when I saw Daddy in the television, I collected his number. I called, it was not going. And I said a short prayer. I said, God, if actually I'm using this man to perform miracle, if I send test, I want to receive reply. Immediately I send the test, I receive reply, direction to this place. I say, yes, God is working. We, I entered here with my daughter. I spoke to God, please, I've entered OPM Grand. I don't want to go back empty-handed so people will not laugh at me. I came here, I took assignment. She did it, I did it with her. After the assignment, I came back. I said, yeah, continue, take the drugs we brought from NBC. She said, mommy, I will not take it again. I think I've gone to OPM. I will be fine. I joined her the faith. We stopped taking that medicine. Since then, she only applies the anointing oil with the sand we took from the altar. When we break coconut, I use coconut oil to apply it. The growth was so big that when she tied her tie, she would just tie it this way. Anytime she makes her hair style, she will cover it. But people will be asking, what is this? What is that? And the thing was giving her a consign. We we'll keep on believing God. And when I come, I say, I go do this miracle. Now others have been receiving their miracle. But I kept faith. I said, God must do my own. Last week, Tuesday, she just came back from school because she has gotten admission. She came back from school. And we are just discussing about uh -uh, how school, this and that. I turned. I did not notice anything. I said, Angel, turn. I checked the two sides. I said, where is the lumps and the distance? She said, Mom, is that anointing or you know, and the prayer books? That she has been using. If Jesus is a club of prayer, <laughs> where was it? He's supposed to be here. God is no longer here. The thing just disappeared. Disappeared. Just like that. I came to return all the glory to God. Even my husband, he doesn't attend to her. My oh, husband, oh, 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 he doesn't go to church because he don't believe all this. He saw all these pastors, pastors. He came here with us on 31st night. When we got some, he told me, Mommy, OPM is my church now. I thought he was play, praying, uh, playing. Since then, every a Sunday morning, my husband would just dress up immediately he's rushing to church. He would stay till evening. If you see where he's preaching, at all, Jesus, he's Jesus, the club of prayer. <laughs> Wait, your husband will be the first to dress. Yes. What are you waiting for? What am I waiting for? You see where he's preaching about OPM. You think that he started these things. And God has been restoring us. He's a faithful father. I want to thank him. Before, before, if my daughter is sleeping, even if she closes his eye for a second, you would think that the caterpillar is passing. She would be snoring. To the extent, the younger sister was asking her, Angel, are you going to take this story to your husband's house? She said no. She came back from school till now. Midnight, I will wake up. I will go and listen whether I will hear the sound of snoring, the thing disappeared. She can hear very well. The growth is no longer there. And I promise God, if you do this to me, for me, I will come and testify like others. I return all the glory to God, who delivered my daughter for such a nonsense growth. May his name alone be glorified. And affliction will never rise the second time in Jesus. Give Jesus a clap of prayer. Jesus, there's no Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. My name is Amadi Gabriel. I'm from Oboguro, in Obia local government. My testimony is on healing. I want to testify this great God, the God who raised the poor from the dust and lived the beggar from the dung hill. Yes. I joined OPN last year, July. But before I joined OPN, I came to this church with affliction. It started when I, after my orientation camp, 2015. After my camp, I came to my place. I wore my NYC youth service shirt. Then when I went back to Enigo, where I was to serve, I discovered that my manhood was shrinking. Sure. And I was having great pains. All through the... Wait! After you wore your NYC clothes, Yes. They fired you. An arrow. Uh -huh. All through the years of my service in Enigo, I served this great nation with sorrow and pains. Child. 
all my alawi, they paid me. I, I went to all the treatment, medical treatment. I was traveling from Ugoba because I was serving in Izago local government. From Ugoba to Onicha, Opiweka. I've gone to all the herbalists there. I paid all money, all the medical, all the herbalist drug. All the money, all hey. to no avail. I came back home 216. What? All your alawi? Oh. 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 You serve this nation with pains. Pains, great hey. pains as a man. Uh -huh. I was suffering within myself. I did not tell anybody. Even when my parents they were calling me, I did not tell them, but I was having fever. I was telling them when I had pneumonia, they inflicted me also with pneumonia. I told them. So when I was coming back from my service, our passing out day, I came back. It was my mother, and I called my mother. See what I'm passing through as a man. She said, ah, you have been suffering for all these things for long. I explained to her. She said, why didn't you tell me? She took me to one church. This church, the woman said that it's water spirit that we should bring 30,000. I brought the last money I had in my account. <laughs> the last money I had in my account. She said I would do fasting, six to six in the church. You gave her the money? What would I do? And she took the money too? They bought ring, wedding gown. They did all they did. She bet me water, all to no avail. Wait, the woman bet you water? Everything. Wait, the woman bet you water? Do you want to pull your clothes? No, she did not pull my clothes. I want my boss. Uh, she <laughs> asked somebody to bait me a okay. meal. So all to no avail. All the whole thing that she did, nothing. I was still dreaming, making love in the dream. So how did you locate OPM? So it was, I saw a brother in my place. I saw a brother, he said that I should, that I should help him. I should give him 200 naira. So I have to, I had 200 naira. I was planning to use 100 naira. I said, okay, take 100 naira and give me back 100 naira. Then I was not explaining that, let me just use it. He said, what are you explaining? I was just complaining of my problem. He said, ah, that I've not heard of OPN. I said, I've been hearing of OPN on tele, on televisions, television. So he said that OPN, that he would take me to his pastor. I explained my problem to him. I explained to him. So he said he would take me to his pastor that his child nearly died in the hospital, though it was opium that helped him. So he took me to opium. Then on July last year, I came to this place. I picked an assignment on water spirit. When after the assignment, everything was over. But the affliction, the, I was still having pains and shrink, shrinking of the manhood. Then not until the last could not night we heard here I was here then the pastor said that there is somebody here that your machine gun is you're having an affliction of shrink mm. on your machine gun but as you take the blood of Jesus Christ immediately I fell down where I was standing wait can we watch the prophecy now hmm. wickedness there is somebody here the enemy afflicted you, and suddenly your machine gun shrank. It was long before, suddenly it shrank. But as you took the blood of Jesus, it has returned back to normal size. Give Jesus a clap of prayer. So immediately you took the blood of Jesus, you fell down. Fell down. I was standing, I fell back, flat, I fell down. Uh -huh. Then I stood up. Uh -huh. I knew that God has finally healed me. Since then, I have not been having any pains again. So, Wait, since then, what happened again? I have not been having any pains again. Uh -huh. No pains, nothing. So I said I must come to. What have you shrinking on? Nothing. I Wait, must... your manhood came back again. Immediately, dear, instantly. Hey! Baptist.
thing the enemy say it will never happen in your life. Today God shall do it in your life. Let me story. Let me have faith. Have faith. Is your name Sister Faith? Your name starts with F. Uh, no Jesus, there's no one like you. My name is uh, Mrs. Blessing Harry. And this man that behind me is my husband. So I come to glorify God for what God had done for me in the, this great commission. commission. <laughs> because the glory of God is too much. Ew. It's too much. Why I can't testify? What made me to come here? It's affliction of death of children. Death. So this affliction is for apatitis. Apatitis. Apatitis B is what enemy afflict, afflict me and my children. Anyone? Look at it. Hepatitis. Hepatitis B. It's not now. It's worse than HIV. Very deadly. It kills. Eh? Praise God. Hallelujah. So, this is continue. My first daughter, God give me a five children. Me and my good husband. We try and train all of them. I don't know when the children reach to time to give me food. One will fall down. I am there praying for the church that I am. Another one, when the other one wants to bring her, they bring the food to me to eat, it will fall down. I say, ah, this sin is too much. One night, my husband is see this uh, a great ministry in the television. He <laughs> said, my, my wife, get up, let us go. Because the testimony that come that day is just is, 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 is something that connects for death that my son died. From here to Medukri, then send out to there. So after coming back, we walk, 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 no way. The boy died. Nobody to give us food to eat. It's our breadwinner. So now, that is now. Okay, now your son died. Yes. Daddy, I don't have anybody. And this man don't have any child, man child. This is my our grandson. So now that appetite is again come to me. That is, now is for me. I say no. My husband said, let us run to OPM. Let us run to OPM. OPM emergency world. So when we come here, we start to pray. We start to pray. We start to pray. We start to pray. God is hearing the prayer. At times I have no sleep for my eye. But I start to get peace in my body. I start to get the sleep, sleepless night for my body. I say, yes, God must do something. So, last uh, uh, Dr. Jesus night, I say, God, I am hearing testimony upon testimony here. I know that he will do all, but do my body first. Let me get peace. So, when we come here, Daddy, Daddy prophesies. Say, there is a, a woman here. See, uh, then Joe Bila said, them a them a headache. It is a headache, a quick headache, headache, headache. So I am letting he take the blood of, blood of Jesus now. Say everything is over. And then it's over. Immediately. Let, let, let's see the prophecy. There is somebody here, I don't know who you are. Your head is pounded. Yes. It has lasted for so many years. Yes. So your head, your head. So but as you took the blood of Jesus, that satanic headache has disappeared. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, I say, let me go and then do this test again. The, this sin is here. That hepatitis is there. Beep is here. When you come, it will be beating me. But since that day, everything off. Nothing. <laughs> now, the same place, so. The doctor, eh? the doctor is asking me, Madam, where are you go to be, to this thing to be normal like this? Because this thing was very high. I said, well, I did not go anywhere. I go Dr. Jesus' uh, clinic. That's why <laughs> it, it, it be like this. So I said, uh, let me still come for your hand to see whether the worldly hand will still do anything. But now Jesus has done it for me. The man so, started to happy. Oh, this man started to happy. Yes. <laughs> Give Jesus a clap of it. Now, 
the same location. Look at it. Go to the address. See them. The same location that said positive. Now, another the same location again. Negative. Tripartite B. Stand up, everybody, and pray this. Every stranger inside my body be flushed out now by the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. There's no one like you. OPM. Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. My name is Engineer Peter Clement Ode. I come from Cross River. I live in Transamadi. What brought me to OPM is poverty. Poverty? I hate poverty. Since 2012, I went to a village to build a house. Since then, everything crumbled. I was living from hand to mouth. So this I was begging to eat to feed my family. I could not pay my house rent. I could not pay my children's school fees. I was crying. Then last year, June, my junior brother is a member of OPM here. He come and say, brother, come to OPM. And I followed him to OPM. As I came, I took assignment. God restored me. I could not continue with the church because of my position in my church. Hey! You came to OPM. And God restored you financially. Yes, sir. Because of the position in your former church, you could not stay. So you went back to your former church. Yes, sir. Error. And what is the position you're holding in your former church? He said, I'm a resident pastor. You are the resident pastor? Signature to the account, the church account. Oh, signature to the church account. It's resident pastor. If church cannot change you, if your resident cannot change you. <laughs> eh? I was a resident pastor. I was having pile for six years. But when I came to OPM, after that the first night, night, six years of pile disappeared. Clap for that, Lord Jesus. Then we took assignment on uh, January 7th. God restored me financially. My pastor now begged me to come back and I went back. So things turned upside down. No money again. Then, uh, four Sundays ago, precisely on the 24th of last month, Daddy said, say, if you're here, say, you came to OPM and God restored you and you went back and you come back to square zero, you should come out. I run, I run from where I was, I came out that day. Amen. Can we see the prophecy? God is happy with OPM. There are many people, you came to OPM, God restored you. But the devil, Diverted you out. The time for you to be restored has come. If you know you are here, you came to OPM and God blessed you and some deceived you and you left OPM. After you left OPM, you lost everything. I mean, you came to OPM, Paul. God blessed you. You became successful. After God restored you, you now left and suddenly you lost everything. And now you are back. God is a God of second chance. If you are here, come out. I want to pray for you. You came to OPM, God restored you. You left and you lost everything. You went back to not quite zero. You went to square minus zero. Come out. So, God is a God of second chance. So that prophecy, uh -huh. so after that prophecy, yeah. what the, after the prayers, that is say we should pick assignment that very day. I will pick assignment. From that day up to now, it's blessing upon blessing. God has restored me. God is so happy with OPM. So Neither. I come to testify and say, God, I've come to stay. No retreat, no surrender. Jesus, there's no one like you. Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. I located OPM. Last, my name is Mr. Ime Gospower. I located OPM last year. When I came to OPM, I took assignment. 
I've been coming, I've been coming, I've been praying to God for job favor. After the 31st, after the 31st night, my phone rang. Okay, reaching the next Sunday, after the 31st night, the next Sunday, being on 7, my phone rang, I pick it. They say, are you Mr. Gus Power? I say, yes, sir. They say, I want to see you so, so place now. I say, ah, boss, I want to go to church. They say, I want to see you there now. I have to move. My wife, I tell my wife, I don't have transport. My wife have to run around and give me transport. I moved to that place. After I reached there, the man directed me to, the, to their office gate. I went there. The man told me, are you Mr. Gospel? I said, yes. He said, I want you to follow this convoy now. And he said, your sister gave you my number for some months now. But today, I don't know what come over me. He, they say I should call this number. So after that, he said, I should follow this convoy to worry. I say, ah, sir, but I did not prepare for it. They say, I want you to see you at worry today. Go and bring your bag. Mm. I moved to the house. I run around. I get transport and went to worry. I reached there. They received me. They gave me instant job. I don't know how it happened that way. But daddy made a prophecy that day. That at the first night breaking face. That somebody will say, how did it happen? Mm. I never forget that prophecy. So that somebody will receive no, so, a so, miracle of how did it happen? Yes. That was the topic. I don't know if they have that uh, clip. You have it? Uh -huh. So that is how it happened. I went to that job. I reached there. I came back on Monday. So I said, let me come and thank God for all what you did to me. Since a year, I've been roaming around hey. looking for a job to feed this family. Family, whole family. See, how many of them? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. One person. Clap and put on Jesus. So now you are walking there now. Yes, and I'm still praying God will still do it again for next other promotion. Give Jesus a global friend. Need him. Jesus, there's no one like you. OPM. Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. My name is Goodness Opera. I am here to testify the goodness of this God of Omega Power Ministry. My father used to watch Daddy Geo in television and he would say, you, you have been going to OPM. Why this man of God will not give you husband? I told him, oh. I told him, don't worry, Daddy. On his own time, he perfects everything. Every time daddy will fix program, he will be the first person to remind me. I will say, don't worry. So, I remember sowing of a seed is very, very important. All singles, please, don't do as they do. Do as God asks you to do. I have a relationship, but it was not working. I am sorry to offend other men here. The day I came out also for a lady of 52 years that I volunteered to do, I don't want to come out that day. It was mommy welfare. God bless you, man. Your days may be longer. She pushed me. I was discussing with my friend. She said, come on, go and tap with that girl. I went, I hugged the girl. She said, not like that. Go and sow a seed. I asked her, then what will I sow? I have been sewing in wedding. I was also mocked a girl that I supported. I backed her up in her wedding. After she did her wedding, the night to her wedding, we were gathering in a place. She came and she was making call. I was there. She didn't recognize me. She said she does not talk to single girls now. She talks to married women. I wept. I said, if this God that gave her husband is that the same God that Apostle Chibuzo is calling? Then prove yourself. I laughed. I come to this altar. I remind God. Mommy said, sow a seed. I said, what will I sow? I said, okay, mommy, I want to do cake for her. Because I've sown all the seed. Certain my friends, they are mocking me. I bought wedding gown. I did everything for other persons. Even traditional marriage. I was mocked. 
I didn't relate to every single program I will come. Some of my friends said they will not come their tired. I said, how will I tire when God has not settled me? I made a contact with this great man of God. I know God is everywhere, but the headquarters is here, which I keep on telling my people. My streets, they will say to you, we see what God will do in your life. That's when we will come to OPM. My dear, I met a man. There are other men here that have proposed. I met a man just two weeks. I don't know him. I have not met him before. I asked him, why did you come to me? He said he's looking for a wife. Somebody asked him to come to OPM. Of a truth, he came to OPM. He came to OPM, he met me with magnets. Just two weeks. Till now, I am not sure if I am married. Even my father is not sure. Yesterday, my husband, did, my brother, I've not shown him my brother. Nobody knew about it. When I called my friends, I said, shut up your mouth. Even when my father sent message, they thought it's barrier because my father, for the few times, my father has been known as a barrier, barrier in his house. So when the message went round, they came, they were asking, what did they happen from the house? Some persons called me, and yesterday they came, the women came, they were asking me, you, what did, what did happen? What did they happen? Why on a call women? I, I, I say, are they married? So I say, shut up your mouth. How come? The men, they say, what did they happen? I said, are they married? Even my father was saying, people will not come much. It's just few. Let's just do it. My dear, it was only two canopy. When I saw it was eight canopy. Mm. People were there. The day daddy gave me my wedding ring, I came out for that sister's um, wedding cake. Daddy said, go and marry. 200 sisters. Amen. I don't know that they have the video. The day she came to show. This is a wonderful wife material. Look at it. February. What is your name? Goodness. 4th of February. She has a golden voice. Goodness. You are from where? River State. Where River State? Equarium. Take your wedding ring. <laughs> Take your wedding ring. Get the other clap of it. And that was, that was when? February. This year, February. And yesterday, what happened? I married yesterday, paid everything, I was decorated. Even my brother in Abuja called me, you embarrassed me. He spoke to my husband, I said, I thought they said it was small thing. He said, I don't know. And to couple all, my husband is not Nigeria. I just want to appreciate this God. My Give husband, Jesus a clap of him. So your husband came all the way from where? Pain. Give Jesus a clap of him. I prophesy. All those believing God for life partner, they receive their life partner in the name of Jesus. Me now. OPM. Dr. Jesus in action. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. My name is Godia Ishaya Jato. I came in from Bauchi. Today is my first day. You came here from Bauchi? <laughs> Give Jesus <laughs> eh? Um, I actually come across OPM on TV. Daddy, I want to say I w I'm looking forward to be one of the partners of that program. Mm. Because it helped me. Wait, I in Bauchi there? You saw it on television in Bauchi? Clear. I, w I watch OPM live there. So, I mean, on 26th, precisely of last month, 26th of June, it was a Tuesday, I've been battling with masturbation for a very long time. I know it's not less than 14 years. 14 years masturbation? Exactly. Uh -huh. I mean, I've been battling with that. I gave up hope. I was just living with it. Um, on that very day, I entered to have my shower 
when I came into the room to dress, I now heard Daddy on TV said, go on your knees, let me pray for you. I didn't know what the prayer was for. I just knelt down naked and lay my hands on the screen. You, you, you kneeled down naked and lay hands on the screen? Exactly. Uh -huh. I was alone in the room. So after, during the prayer, I just felt something. I can't really explain. I felt something. After that prayer, Daddy, from that particular day, 26th of June, um, that's last month, to date, I have not witnessed anything like that. This is something I do like four or five times daily. If I'm in the bedroom, it's even more. It's worse like that. But from that day when you prayed, as I laid my hands on the screen, till this very moment, I don't even think it. I think I'm delivered. Please give Jesus a glorious clap offering. And you've not come here. I have never been here. Okay, before. today is today your first time. Today is my first Sunday in this place. I came in. So, so through the television, OPM TV partners, God bless you. Just from there, on television, power pass through television. Hola. Jesus, there's no one like you. We are Mr. and Mrs. Donatus Onyemachi. We reside in number eight Oronda Close, off South Road. I located OPM last year, May. What brought me here is fruit of the womb. When I came, I was not seeing my period. After one, two days of seven days, seven days to get pregnant, I joined on the third week. That was June. The, the period came out, and that is fine here last uh, that June 25th. If Jesus is a global friend, so when you came to OPM, your period was not coming. Was not coming. Yes, How long did your period cease? How Almost long? seven years. Almost seven years. Yes. But as you came, you joined on the seventh Saturday to get pregnant. Yes. Bam! And so, your period came out. So, between February, and I came on one on one with that. That was February 24th this yeah. year. So March again, I saw that in my dream, March 20th, that, that it touched me again. So I pray, I didn't see my period. Remember, Paul, Dr. Jesus, after the upper cut, what happened? So I now went for my pregnancy test last month. Uh, see the result, I tested positive. Hey! After nine years, after, after, this child, after giving birth to this child, nine years. After years? Nine years. Nine years? Yes. See, after this, this is nine, nine years now? Yes. <laughs> See him. Positive. Go up. Quest Diagnosis Center. Date. See date. 18th of June. Clap up, Dr. Jesus. After nine years, and your period ceased. For seven years. Yes. Give Jesus a clap of rain. Uh -huh. If you wipe away my tears, that I give you one month of my salary. Wait, you promise God what? If you wipe away my tears and visit me again, that I give him one month of my salary. This and this is, is the one month of your salary? Yes, sir. See him. Did anybody ask you to bring? Nobody. You, I, in your own robe. Yes. Uh -huh. And you brought it here today. Yes, sir. Give Jesus a clap of prayer. Truly, God is here. God is really here. Honestly, God is here. Truly, God is in OPM. I am a testimony and I am a witness. Are you tired of being single? Are you tired of looking for a good job? Are people calling you barren woman? Do you need salvation? Dr. Jesus is the answer. If church cannot change you, what do you do? Change your church. Change your church. Change your church. Come this Sunday morning before 8 a.m. and God's General, Apostle Chibuzo, will attend to you and give you prayer assignment and your story must change. Please don't know when the role of this individual is over. The role this pastor played in my life is over. It is time for me to move to my next level. Dr. Jesus in action. God is here. God is here. Ocean.